Hey, it's Cameron again, and I'm back with another sales update video for my eBay sales of the past week. This is from the week of June 7th to June 13th. Had a pretty good week, 15 sales in total. Definitely no complaints on my end. I try for 20 these days um, to feel like I've really met a good goal, but it doesn't always happen that way. So I'm happy with the 15. Happy to get rid of some stuff, make money. I actually had a couple of decent sale prices in here that sold, so some bigger items, or at least ones with bigger profit margins, so that's always cool. Obviously, if you sell 15 things, but, you know, 5 or 10 of them are a dollar, then that is way better than selling 25, maybe, that are um, very small or low profit ones. So, they all add up, and it all goes to the same place, so making money is good, but you obviously, sometimes it's nice to have some of the bigger, bigger numbers come through. Uh, we'll just jump right in though. This first one is um, a Nike um, puffer uh, jacket. It's a Jordan one. Um, it's a youth. I paid five bucks for this at a thrift store. It was in really great shape. Ended up selling it for twenty five within a couple of days. It's probably not worth much more than that. Maybe thirty, maybe thirty five for the right person. But honestly, I just wanted to move it. Not a great time of year to sell it. And I think somewhere someone had said that they were selling. Um, new one for like 40 bucks, so uh, I may have not even gotten the 35 I originally wanted. So made a little bit of money off it, probably maybe 10 or 12 bucks of profit when it was all said and done. So not a huge amount, but definitely happy with that. You need to work on getting a better setup for listing clothes, probably getting a mannequin or something. Just haven't got around to doing it yet, but I think it would also spruce up the, the listings a little bit. Uh, the next thing is a Final Fantasy Anthology, um, two discs, uh, doesn't have the case or the manual. I picked these up a while back, not sure what I paid for them, because I probably had them for over a year at this point, but um, probably had a dollar in them, maybe two at the most, maybe even part of a lot that they were basically free. Sold them for 13 bucks. Um, they probably shipped for 2 or 4 or something like that, whatever the new charge is, so very happy with that. Um, maybe made seven or eight bucks when it's all said and done, and um, that's easy money right there. I think they sold within a week or so. Here's an Ed Hardy um, running Tiger sunglasses. Um, paid five for this with the case. Um, they were in really good shape. No real signs of wear to them. Um, nothing to really didn't notify the buyer of. I think they looked in pretty good shape. The case had some wear, but the glasses were in pretty good shape. Um, like I said, paid five. Um, sold them for forty after a couple of weeks. I thought they would sell for forty-five pretty quickly, but it took a little while back and forth um, with a couple of different people. And then finally, someone um, bet me at forty, and I felt like that was fair for a five-dollar investment. So made some good money. They also shipped first class, so no complaints. Sold a GameCube Power Saves this year. Um, I never even heard of this prior to getting this in a lot of GameCube stuff. I paid 20 for the whole lot. This is just one thing. And actually, uh, today I sold something else out of that lot uh, for $28. So no complaints there either. Um, but this one, uh, got 15 bucks for it. Shipped first class. You know, after fees and everything, that's 8 or $9. So definitely good towards the 20 I paid. And I already sold a couple other things from the lot, like I said. Here's a Game Boy Color. Paid five for this um, on June the 6th, which would have been Saturday, I believe. Um, it worked, came with uh, the batteries, and it came with the game Snoopy um, for five bucks. Definitely worth it. Sold it for 25 within a day. I didn't keep the game with it, I actually pulled it out. It was an original Game Boy game, not a Game Boy Color game, and usually if the system's in good shape like this one was, I just sell them separately and get the money that I can for them and then use the games for lots. So. 25 bucks, ship first class, no complaints there either. Uh, this one wasn't really as great, but I definitely was happy to move it and make the money I did. I paid 20 for the lot. This was in one of my haul videos, the first one I believe that I ever did. Sold it for 45. I had sold in two days, so that's pretty good. Um, paid 20 though, so when it's all said and done, there was like five bucks in media mail uh, shipping fees, after eBay fees and all that, PayPal. I may have made twelve dollars in profit, something like that, but not a whole bunch. But got my money back plus another twelve or thirteen, and uh, bought some other things there too that may that were a part of that lot, and they make some extra money, so it turned out to be pretty good. Um, this is a Sony micro cassette quarter. 
uh, recorder. This is um, a pretty good one apparently. I paid a dollar or two for this in my first haul video was there, so if you wanted to verify me, you could always check it. But it did work when I was there. It was in good shape. Uh, I paid a dollar for it. Um, cleaned it up a little bit. There was a couple of little scuffings, but I cleaned them up and then sold it for 60 bucks uh, pretty quickly. I think within a couple of days on the night. So that had, it had been listed on Saturday night. It sold on the night. So that was pretty cool. Definitely happy with a pretty large stuff right there. Also sold Final Doom for the PS1. This came out of a big lot of games. I think I paid 40 bucks for. Already sold well over the $40 and double the money so far. So this is just extra at this point. Got 13 bucks. Uh, shipped first class probably for two something. So after fees probably seven or eight bucks again and pretty easy sale. So happy with that. So this Phoenix Suns jersey, it's a Steve Nash. Thought this one would be better than what it was. Um, paid five bucks for it. It had a little stain in the front, but I was able to clean it up. It's huge. It's like a 5XL or something. I don't know. Six size 60. It's huge. Um, I just listed it as being pretty big, and then the buyer wanted the measurements. I didn't have many listings, so I provided those, and they ended up buying, offering me 25, and I took it. Originally thought it probably would be 30 or 35 dollar jersey. I was hoping at least, but it turned out to not be the case. So getting 25 for it, it shipped in a um, flat rate envelope. So paid another five there. So 10 into 25, still pretty good. After fees and everything, probably made 10 bucks. So no complaints. Um, this was a really cool one. It's a Scully fringe um, leather um, jacket. It didn't have a size on there, which was kind of disappointing, so I thought that would limit its resellability, or at least make it a lot more challenging. But um did the measurements and everything, put man or woman's, because I didn't know technically which one it was. Uh, I paid 6 or $8 dollars for this. I don't remember exactly, but it was um, you know, not too much invested, and then I ended up selling it for the full $80. That's what I listed it for, and that's what it sold for. I was more than happy with that, and I think I shipped it in a flat rate something, uh, maybe a medium flat rate or regional box or something like that, but I um, ended up selling it. was a pretty heavy jacket, but I got the 80 bucks for it, so I'm more than happy with that. Definitely one of the bigger sales of the week, if not the biggest. This was cool. Um, you guys didn't see this because I wasn't doing YouTube videos when I first bought these books, but I bought a huge lot of Franklin Library signed first editions. They were maybe 22 books in total. I think three of them were Franklin Library ones that were not signed. The other ones were. Um, maybe it only was 22 or I don't know how many I had, but I had 15 or more of the books and I sold one already. It was Jurassic Park signed. Sold that for 248 shipped and then I sold another one I think for 55 shipped and I forgot the name of the book, but then I had this one listed Nick got, um, I think it sold for $59.99 full price. Um, this is The Born Supremacy by Robert Ludlum. So, uh, it was signed. It was in great shape. All the books were actually in really good shape, but maybe one or two. So, got the full price on this. That was really cool. I ended up shipping it actually in a padded flat rate, so he would get it there a little quicker. Um, could have gone media or whatever, but um, just figured I'd pay up for that. Get the book. He was really happy with it, even gave me positive feedback. So this is just extra money at this point because I only paid 50 for the whole lot, and I already sold the Jurassic Park one for 248. So we're well over um, in profit at this point. Another one is uh, something I bought. I've seen people sell these before. I'm not a big fan of cookbooks. I feel like they usually need to be held on to a little bit longer. But I paid a dollar for this one, and I got another similar one as well for a dollar. Sold it though pretty quickly. Um, listed, I think, the 8th or the 9th, and it sold for 15 bucks within a couple of days. So honestly, a pretty, pretty good sale. Um, definitely no complaints there. And I um, ended up shipping it media mail, and uh, that was a couple of bucks. They gave me good feedback already, so they were happy with it. Probably made seven or eight bucks when it's all said and done, but it made easy sale. Another one is these leapfrog magnetic things. Um, they're for you know young children. They usually go in the fridge. They have a couple different ones. They have this one that has the alphabet. They have another one that has three spaces where the little frog guy is, and you can put three letters together. It's for spelling words. I think I call it the word whopper. 
Um, don't quote me on that though, but that one does a little bit better, maybe 20 to 25 for that one. Other ones that do well are the vehicle one. It's got planes and trains and a car and I think a bus or something like that and a boat. And there's another one that's a farm one. The farm one does um, pretty well as well, better than this one. This is just the basic one. This one does the least. Um, these, if you get them for a dollar or two, they're worth picking up. Even three dollars if it's um complete. Just count the letters and match the animals. They have a, the farm one has four or five animals and same with the vehicle one. They're also good to pick up if you they're not complete. Um, usually I just offer them a dollar if it's not complete and I'll just try to take it and either hold on to it or possibly try to sell it if there's a certain letter or piece that's hard to find. You can sometimes see people selling them on eBay um, by themselves. I usually just hold on to it in case I need it for one of my other ones. But yeah, I got 15 bucks. This one did ship padded flat rate. Um, it was a little bit heavier than the first class so couldn't really do that. We didn't make a whole bunch on this one, probably only $6, maybe 7 when it's all said and done, but um, I had bought this one for a dollar, and I already sold two other sets out of it. I bought three sets, a dollar each, and I sold one for 25 and then one for 23 but at this point it was all gravy on just everything on top, so I was happy with what I got. Um, another thing are these um, Washington Forge Mardi Gras. Um, flatware sets. This was a lot I bought for ten dollars at a thrift store down by my work. I'm um, probably overpaid for these for sure. I really shouldn't have paid the ten that I paid. I should have offered them less. But um, I know more the Mardi Gras sets do well, especially if they are complete or near complete. This was the black one, and I've sold some black ones before and did better because I had more in the lot. But for this one, ended up getting twenty five bucks. I've had these for a long time, probably for over a year or two. They haven't been listed the whole time, but I just had them in my possession. So I was happy to get rid of them. They shipped, uh, I think in a padded flat rate is how I ended up shipping them. So only five bucks and after fees and everything, I probably made, got my money back and maybe got five or six. So not a whole lot, but I also got the 10 I had invested. And that's one thing to remember, you can sometimes list things and end up, um, you know, maybe not making a ton of profit, but you also could get a large portion of your investment back, if not the whole thing, and that's still money that you would have had lost if you didn't sell them. So keep that in mind. Sometimes just selling the things, getting the money back. Hopefully it's another positive feedback, another experience with eBay, and like I said, keeping the money flowing so you don't have money just sitting idle and stuff. That's uh, very important, I think, to keep things moving in and out and keeping the money flowing. Lastly for the week, something I paid, I think $10 plus tax for, so it would have been, I don't know, 10 80 or 79 or something like that. Um, it was a Chargers, Ladanian Tomlinson baseball jersey style. Obviously, if you're familiar with um, the Chargers or football, he's a football player. But this is designed to be a Chargers baseball jersey, which is pretty cool. Actually, I would have probably wanted to keep it had it been my size, but for that price, I ended up selling it for 35 within four or five days. I was very happy with that because, like I said, I paid 10 plus tax. It shipped for five, so realistically, you know, there's 12 bucks of profit in that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, like I said, very happy, and I would have probably kept it though. I mean, there's part of me that really wanted to, even though it was a little large. But the guy was already got the jersey already. He was happy, gave me good feedback, said it was something special, and. Uh, Tomlinson's also going into the Ring of Honor for the Chargers this year, Hall of Fame, so just for his team specifically. So that's kind of a special year for him, so his stuff should sell pretty well um, before that game comes that he gets inducted into his team's Hall of Fame. So those were all the things I sold. Sorry for any quality or issues with um, the video. I do appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. If you have any questions or things that you want to comment on, please feel free. Also like and subscribe. And I'll have another video out here pretty soon with the haul I got from some thrift stores that I went to and also a separate video with the haul from this Saturday, which was June um, 20th, I believe. If you have any um, questions, like I said, please feel free to comment or message me directly. Thank you.